Hello, this video is the third in a four-part series on plant watering system with soil moisture monitoring. In this video, I'll set up a public website that produces a historical line graph with my plant's soil moisture level. My initial setup is in video one of the series. I'll link to it below if you missed it. Video two was about setting up an automated email notification and is not a required prerequisite for this video, although it might be useful to check it out. And the next video in the series, video four, is all about setting up a pump and a relay that automatically waters your plants. I'll post video four next week. Hello, my name is Caroline and I produce weekly tech videos on IoT, smart home, and voice assistance. Now let's get started. To create a public website for your plant, you'll need a domain name and hosting service, plus everything from the first video, your computer, your ESP8266, and soil moisture sensor. I use a paid service for my other websites, so it was pretty easy for me to add this on to my existing account. This is actually my favorite step because I posted the public link on my social media and now my friends can join in the fun of monitoring my plant. I had one friend that even commented that his life was now complete now that he could monitor my bonsai tree on the internet. But I think he might have been kidding. For reference, here is the current website right now. I'm making a brand new website in this uh, tutorial and just to show you what uh, the old website looks like. Here we go. Um, I am following along loosely on this Random Nerds tutorial. Visualize your sensor readings from anywhere in the world and this is a great little tutorial. It does require a domain and a, an SQL database and PHP script and all of that good stuff. I do have all of that. I have hosting that I've purchased somewhere else. Just to show you, you do need a domain name for this. You could be using one that you use for several other things as well. So I bought a domain name yesterday for this project. The dot infos are really cheap right now or has been kind of cheap lately. So I just typed in Caroline's bonsai tree dot info and sure enough it was available and I bought it for $2.99 for the first year and I'll probably just cancel it after a year. But I do own Caroline's bonsai tree. I've already purchased it prior to this video and I'll be using that as my domain name for this project. I've purchased my domain name and I do have hosting. So from my hosting, I am using GoDaddy hosting to be specific, but I've looked at this random nurse tutorial and I think he uses a different hosting service, but the screens looked almost identical to me in my opinion. We go into the C panel and what we're going to do is we are going to create a new MySQL database. Click on that, set up a database. So you can call this what you want it to be. I'm going to call it my Bonsai uh, database. I'm going to hit next step and I'm going to create a username and a password. This is anything you want it to be, but you do need to write this down and do remember this. Created an OK password. I'm going to create a user. My database name is Bonsai. My user is C done and my password is whatever I want it to be. So I'm going to give myself all privileges, of course, next step. And there we go. I have created a database called Bonsai because I have multiple domains on the hosting service that I paid for. I'm going to go into my file manager and I'm going to create a new folder. So if you want to know how I got here, all I did was go into C panel and then I just clicked file manager and that opened up this file manager. Now I'm going to create a folder and it's going to be Caroline's Bonsai from the home directory called Caroline's Bonsai. And there it is, Caroline's Bonsai. So I've created a new folder. It's empty right now. Perfect. I'm going to return home to my C panel. From our C panel, now I'm going to go into PHP my admin right here. And let's see, and now I'm, I have this new database called Bonsai. Click on that. It's going to be empty. Okay, no tables found. I'm going to hit SQL. And now from the GitHub that we downloaded in video number one, I've got this little folder called public website. 
and there's a table.sql. I'm gonna open this with Adam. If you're not familiar with Adam, that's also a free download, adam.io, and that is an app you'll need for this. So I've already installed Adam. For this, uh, technically you could just use a text editor to get this to work. You don't really need Adam, but I'm gonna copy this. This is the file that I just opened, and I'm gonna go into my uh, SQL, and I'm going to paste what I just had. So I'm creating a table, SQL, create a table, and I'm gonna hit go. Now I have something in my PHP, my admin under Bonsai, I've got sensor. Let's click on sensor. And sure enough, we've got ID value reading time. There we go. So now we've created a table. It is empty right now, but we have a table here for us to, uh, there it is, okay. And the structure of our table. So we have this created perfect. The next thing we need to do is I mentioned I bought a new domain name yesterday for this project. Let's go over to my C panel and let's do an add-on domain. So if you only have one domain, which is not very cost effective for monitoring one plant, I don't suggest doing that, but I do have a plan I've already purchased from GoDaddy where I have I can do lots of domains. Uh, so what I do is because this is not my primary domain, I'm gonna have to hit add on domains. And then my new domain name is carolinesbonsai.info. And the subdomain is uh, Caroline's Bonsai. And the root is actually uh, Caroline's Bonsai. And I'm gonna remove uh, this uh, public HTML. So this, you can do it different ways. This might not be the best practice, but just for me to be organized, this is the easiest way for me to do this. And I'm gonna hit add domain. Let's see if that worked. I'm gonna go over to file manager and I've got Caroline's Bonsai and it did create a folder called public HTML. That is what you want to accomplish in that step. So now I've mapped Caroline's Bonsai.info to this folder. Now we do want to create a new file within public HTML. I'm going to do this in Atom. All right, here are the files postdata.php and that opens right up in Atom. As I mentioned before, we need to know, remember your database name, which I created was Bonsai. And then my username, I made that C done. And then I'll just update my password here. And then I will save this file and then upload it to my public HTML. So give me a second to do that. And now I'm gonna hit the upload button and I can drag and drop. I'm gonna drag and drop postdata.php into Caroline's Bonsai public HTML. And I'm gonna go back and sure enough, I see postdata.php, excellent. Let's go over to my website, Caroline's Bonsai. Dot info and we're going to go to postdata.php. All right, perfect. There is no data with HTTP post. That is exactly what we want to see here. The reason why is because we have no data. We haven't actually started doing any uh, sensor readings and we just created our table and it's completely empty. We have no values in this table we just created, but we do have a table. Let's get some values in here. Let's see if we can get this to work. Back to the code on my GitHub page, I have a file called espchart.php, and I'm gonna open that with Adam. And here it is. So now you've gotta do the same thing, replace with your database name, which I just showed you in the last one, username, password, same thing here. And then, check this out. We are going to create a chart that has all of our information on here. I do wanna mention, there's one change I do need to make here that I have this uh, photo that I wanted to upload here. So I'm going to add a photo to my file manager. So I'm back in my file manager. I am going to upload and I'm going to drop, drag and drop. And I did take a picture of my bonsai tree. Now this part of course is completely optional once again. So I have my picture of my bonsai tree. I'm gonna upload that. And if I go over to Caroline's bonsai.info and then type in bonsai.jpg, JPEG, Sure enough, there's a picture of my bonsai tree. I'm gonna copy and paste that into my file here. So add photo.jpg here. That's I know that's not the right syntax or whatever. I'm gonna change out database name, username, password, save that, upload that in the next step. All right, saving esp-chart.php. And now I'm going to my file manager and I'm going to drag and drop esp-chart.php. 
got those going now. Let's go over to Caroline's info, ESPchart.php. And we have nothing, but we do have the website up now, Caroline's Bonsai Treats. So this is the default, what I programmed in here, the title, the soil moisture level, and a picture of my bonsai tree. We gotta get some data. How are we gonna get the data in? And uh, back to our code here. So we do have public website.ino open with Arduino. Now we are just doing sensor readings to a public website. And a lot of this code should look really familiar. The sensor pin is a zero analog input. And then we're gonna have a dummy value for output value. We're gonna figure out what the output value is. We're gonna write it to our database here. So you do need your SSID, your SSID password, as we did in the previous videos. You do need to change your website. So I'm gonna change this website to Caroline's Bonsai.info. That's the uh, domain name. We're gonna uh, have, we're gonna do it to postdata.php. You just saw that file that I created. And then, we are going to write the value, output value, write that value to value number one in our code here. So this is the loop code, and then we're gonna post it. I will just comment out the every 30 minutes and just do it pretty much every second. And now I'm going to change out my SSID and SSID password, and I'm going to upload this file to my ESP8266 using the methods that we learned in video number one and hit the upload button and it's successfully uploaded. Let's go over to tools, serial monitor. This is reminiscent of project number one, our video number one. We have these uh, sensor values, but now we have an HTTP response code and it is checking every second and the value is about the same, 32. And let's check out, I'm gonna refresh my ESP chart and here we go. And it is, it, it, it's really often right now, so we should probably stop this. Uh, I'm gonna change the uh, code here, let's change it to back to every 30 minutes. I'm gonna reflash that, but essentially we're gonna check our soil moisture level of our bonsai tree every 30 minutes and graph it to our public website. Compiling the sketch, uploading the code again to my ESP8266. Excellent, hard resetting and sure enough, and now we've got our website up and going, ESP charts. Now, if you want to share this with people, you would give them your URL slash ESPchart.php. Now, let's say you want to do this as the homepage. When you go to Caroline's Bonsai.info, you don't want to have to type in ESPchart.php. You just want this to, to just directly go there. I'll show you how to do that right now. I'm going to go over to File Manager, ESP Chart. I'm going to rename this index. .php. I'm going to rename that file, and now I'm going to go over to Caroline's info, and sure enough, here we go. And uh, simple as that, we've got uh, Caroline's bonsai.info, now it is the home page. So you do have two choices. So if you want to do, you know, several charts all the way down, you can have more than one chart. I only have one plant, so I'm just doing it this way, or if you want to do uh, different uh, names, so it's whatever you want to name it, and however many files you want to do, or however many plants you have, how many ESP 8266s you have that you want to do this. But anyway, here is my bonsai tree. It works. Um, I am on a shared GoDaddy server. It is on Arizona time right now. I'm on Eastern time, so the time is not correct. There is a way to fix that right here. Uncomment to convert the readings to your time zone. We can do that. For each uh, reading, you can change it to minus one hour, plus four hours, whatever you want to do. Say plus three hours, and we're probably gonna get different times now, and I, I'm saving it as ESPchart.php. All right, and so that I don't, don't overwrite the other one. Let's go back to my file manager, upload. See, I am uploading a new ESPchart.php, okay upload and I'm going to go over to espchart.php and now uh, the times going forward will be three hours ahead. This is how you make a publicly accessible website if you want to to monitor your soil moisture of your plant. You know when you're out and about 
and you need to check something, uh, if you're on vacation, you're out of your home for a while, now you have access to the soil moisture level of your plants. And that's all for this video. Join me next week when we add the pump and relay that actually waters my bonsai tree. Please subscribe and turn on notifications and you'll be the first to see the next video in the series. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye now.